Henry, Lord Diaz, if you would allow me for a minute to take the privilege, executive privileges, uh, before we have to accomplish our duties of introducing some of the elected officials here today. It is with great pride that I stand before you as the Bronx Borough President in what's my first Bronx Dominican Day Parade. Yeah. And it's even with greater pride that we do so in this wonderful Bronx academic institution, one that I saw literally raised from the ground up. For those of you who don't know, that young man right there used to take me to school. I went to school right across the street, that's PS31, and I graduated from there. And when I was a student there, there were talks about Hostos Community College. And it, when it started, it started with trailers here. It started because of a fight with the Latino, the Puerto Ricans, the Dominican community, and Bronxites letting individuals know at the state and at the city level that we needed ac academic institutions right here. And we've seen this institution grow. And we know that Dr. Dolores Fernandez has done wonders with this institution. And we've seen the increase of Latinos, predominantly Dominican students, have opportunity and increase those opportunities by educating themselves here. And so now we have a new president of this wonderful institution, and Felix Matos, who today is like his coming out party, and I have to say, Mr. President, it's great to be in your house, and you were pretty thorough this morning with the introduction. Thank you, Mr. President. When you look at parades, and there's someone who said that all parades are political, but well, when you look at parades, it's more than just festivities. It has to be more than just music and song and dance. When you look at parades and the fact that over 20 years, the Dominican Day Parade here in the Rose the Bronx has continued to grow and increase. It is about showing the rest of the world the contributions, the commitment by a certain community, in this case, the Dominican community. Felipe Perez and Rosa Ayala has done wonders in letting us know that this is a growing community that everyone must pay attention to.